case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in 1992 the supreme court of pennsylvania was presented with mcmillan v mcmillan a case that centered on the question of whether it was justified to amend a child custody order in the best interest of the child without necessitating a substantial change in circumstances. The situation began in 1981 when the parents divorced in Wyoming and primary custody was given to the mother. A few years later, the father, seeking more involvement in his child's life, was granted visitation rights in Pennsylvania. By 1988, however, the dynamics had changed. The father petitioned for and won general custody of the child, Emmett, citing both the child's own preference to live with him and evidence that both parents' homes were suitable for Emmett's upbringing. This successful shift of custody, however, was short-lived. Following the father's win, the Superior Court intervened and vacated the rule, reinstating the original custody order granting primary custody back to the mother. The Superior Court ruled that a custody decision should not be solely based on the child's preference and found no substantial evidence that a change in circumstances warranted the alteration of the custody order. Feeling the Superior Court had overlooked key elements of the trial court's judgments, the father appealed the ruling. The crux of his argument was that the child's preference for living with him had not been given the weight it deserved. In their final ruling, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court agreed with the father. They upheld the trial court's decision that the homes of both parents were suitable for Emmett, but declared that the child's expressed desire to live with his dad was a significant factor. They determined that the Superior Court's decision was a reversal of discretion and reinstated the original ruling that primary custody should go to the father, validating the belief that a child's preference is a crucial component in such decisions when determining the child's best interest. Interestingly, Chief Justice Nix filed a concurring opinion joined by Justice Flaherty, while Justice Zappala concurred in the result. The case reaffirmed the notion that the child's best interest, including their preference, must remain at the heart of any custody decision and encouraging precedent for similar cases in the future. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.